Am I good? All right, we're good. Uh, first off, I want to thank God Almighty. Everybody's going to be okay. But it just states against another really sad incident on Thanksgiving for our deputies across the county had to deal with today. Um, you know, to understand what happened, what led to the shooting, you have to understand what really happened during the day earlier. Uh, there was an individual who was out in the middle of the street uh, with a sword, you know, swinging it around, making weird gestures, and there's kids out there. And so, as you can imagine, the parents were extremely upset, very nervous. Um, you have this individual that's out there with that long sword, brown little kids, just acting just strange. There's no other way to describe it, just what the neighbors have said, just extremely strange and dangerous. Um, the individual then goes back in the house, he's blaring music, throwing things. Neighbors are hearing a lot of things being destroyed. Um, he was sending messages to neighbors that were, um, you know, basically caused fear for them. Uh, there's no other way to describe it. The neighborhood was in fear during the day because of this individual. Um, the sheriff's office received, received multiple, multiple calls on this incident. Around 7.30 p.m., the sheriff's office arrived to perform a welfare check. Uh, the deputies, you know, they enter, they go into the property, they're announcing, sheriff's office, sheriff's office, they're knocking on the door, sheriff's office. Uh, they're doing everything they can to explain to the individual that they're with the sheriff's office. Uh, they go to the backyard, they see the sword on the ground, so they, they know exactly where they are, they know at the right place. Um, they know they got an individual that's caused fear in the neighborhood. They have an individual that was swinging weapons around the neighborhood. Uh, they're doing everything they can to get this individual to come out of the house so they can talk to him because they know there's something not right with this individual tonight. Uh, unfortunately, the individual, instead of just coming out of the house peacefully, he comes out of the house holding a shotgun. The deputies order him to load that shotgun. He doesn't. The deputies then fire uh, around at the uh, individual. Uh, they performed aid on the individual. They were able to uh, get him to the hospital. He will survive. Um, you know, a couple of things I can tell you though right now is that his BAC was 0.307. 0.307, almost four times the legal limit. Um, we're not sure what other substance he had in his body at the time. Uh, that'll all be done through testing. Uh, but I want to put out there, this is another unfortunate incident that our deputies do it on Thanksgiving. You know, any day of the week. But, you know, even on Thanksgiving, you know, everybody just wants to have a peaceful day. Now, unfortunately, somebody who lives on our block was throwing, you know, wielding a sword, causing fear and causing harm, you know. And then it caused law enforcement to have to be another critical incident. So, you know, thank God, as I said before, everybody's going to be okay. But it's one of those things that, you know, this individual just caused harm in the community, caused fear in the community, caused them to be very upset. And at the end of the day, he just didn't listen to commands. And because of his actions, it dictated our actions. So with that being said, is there any questions? Everybody good? I appreciate it. Thank you all very much. Sheriff's office. Mm -hmm. Three all six to how the swords in the backyard. Sheriff's office. Hey, sir, you mind stepping out for us real quick? Hey, sir, how you doing? Drop it now! Drop it! Drop it now!